Hello, sisters. Welcome to the Sacred Medicine Podcast, weaving powerful, soulful practices into functional medicine. Step into this beautiful space of devotion and explore everything from nurturing foods, rituals, sexuality, and awakening your innate sensuality. It is time to own your radiance. This is the Sacred Medicine Podcast. Hello and welcome back. And this is another week of Wisdom for the Weekend. Now, today I'm actually going to be talking about lupus and rashes. And I'm doing this because it is something that I see almost every day throughout social media, in particular on Facebook groups that are um, autoimmune related Facebook groups. And I just want to talk to you today about my take as a functional medicine practitioner. Now, the majority of you who have had rashes have gone to see your dermatologist, have gone to just your regular primary care, and I'm sure they've done biopsies on it. They have given you creams. They have given you prednisone, um, high dose prednisone. Am I right? Or allergy medication, Benadryl at high doses. And it can maybe possibly get better for the very short term, but it's never lasting for, it never goes away forever. It comes back or it's alleviated maybe a little bit. They keep you on prednisone. You gain weight. You get this round sort of shaped face. Um, The moon face is what they call it when you consume high doses of prednisone for long periods of time. And you may feel a little bit better or you may see some improvement, but the majority of the time there is no improvement, very little to none, or the rashes just keep coming back. You've probably had biopsies of your skin, right? You've seen specialists, dermatologists, and you're still not doing any better. And nobody sort of now knows. The biopsies were done. Nothing's really necessarily coming back. So what I am going to talk to you about in this short episode is one of the main reasons why you are experiencing rashes. As a person with an autoimmune issue, if you have ever encountered rashes or you're currently suffering from them and they are not going away or they're being mildly relieved, but you have to take a ton of steroid so or Benadryl, 200 milligrams, which is insane. So, What I am about to tell you is probably going to be very shocking, but it is certainly not shocking in the functional medicine realm. Whenever we see a skin condition, for the most part, and I'm not saying 100% of the time, but for the most part, it has to do with your digestion, the condition of your gut, your gut lining, do you have leaky gut syndrome, which is permeability in your gut? Or do you also suffer from constipation, diarrhea, gas, bloating? Sometimes people don't even have the digestive issues, but it's showing up in the skin. Um, so I'm also going to be doing a post on Instagram about this. And if you go to a regular conventional medicine physician, you go and you see a dermatologist and you say to them, I think it's my gut. Do you think it's my gut? I heard that it could be maybe my digestion or some type of permeability. They have no idea what you're talking about. Take it from me. Conventional medicine and functional medicine are like two different, completely different, not a hundred percent because functional medicine providers have some conventional background like myself, but we've also had training in functional medicine now. So whenever I see a rash, I need to do further studies. I do stool samples. 
Now, and I'm not talking about the stool sample that you give your doctor and they send it to your local lab. Absolutely not. Those are hardly, they hardly show anything. Stool tests that I perform, functional testing, they are six to eight pages worth of information. So valuable. It tells me so much about the person. And I want to tell you that taking a shit ton of prednisone or Benadryl or um, all types of allergy medication is not going to turn this rash around. It just can't. It's they're my they're like little band aids that you could put on there, but it is not the root cause. Your body is not deficient in a steroid. Your body is not deficient in Benadryl. It's not deficient from an allergy medication. That's that doesn't happen. So, um, conventional medicine for, for uh, when it comes to chronic illness, they love to put band-aids on things. And that is not what functional medicine is about. We need to know why we love to figure out why you are getting these rashes in the first place. So if you've never heard this before and you've been strictly with conventional medicine providers, I'm not surprised. So you, if you have a rash that hasn't gone away and now you're 50 pounds overweight because you've been put on steroids for like a year and they keep, you're on like 60 or more milligrams of prednisone, which first of all, what that's doing to your adrenal glands, I mean, is not good. It's not good. So I think that if you were having these issues, you need to seek the help from either a functional medicine provider, a naturopath that believes in, that also does functional medicine. For the most part, they do and get some good stool testing and whatever those results show. And I'm sure it'll show a lot of things. Maybe you have chronic infections, you have an overgrowth of bacteria. It's possible you may have a parasite or an amoeba. It's possible that you have leaky gut. I mean, there's the, I mean, who knows? It, it's so different for everyone. It's very, very different, the results. And so what we find the treatment is also very different. So it's hard for me to say, you know what, take this, this, and this, and this will heal because I, I don't know what you have. I don't know what the results show. So, um, but I want you to know, because this is something that I read about, I'm seriously every day. And I just want to tell you that you are not deficient in those medications that they put you on. Those are band-aids that will not reverse what's going on. It may possibly temporarily, but do you really want high dose steroid in your body? I mean, it's not, it's not those, those things aren't good for you. 200 milligrams of Benadryl. I mean, who does that? That's insane. That's an insane amount, but that is a number that I heard from somebody what they were put on. I have never in a million years have recommended that unless somebody not, no, I've never, first of all, ever put anyone or suggested remotely to, for someone to take that much of Benadryl. First of all, they'd be sleeping for like a week with that amount of Benadryl. That's to me insane and it is not safe. So do not try that. But I have heard that somebody was put on that amount, which is just, I don't know, terrifying. But what I do want you to know is that there are other options. Okay. If, if what you've taken for all the months and months and months or a year or however long you have been suffering with this rash, there are other ways around it. Find somebody that can help you figure out the why, because that is the only way that you will start to feel better. That rash will go away. I have seen this so much where all you need are some simple interventions, but we need to do some appropriate 
testing. So if you're, if you're listening to this now, or you have a friend with an autoimmune issue, they've got rashes. And even if you don't have an autoimmune issues and you keep breaking out in hives, or you've got red rash. Now I'm not talking about poison Ivy. I'm not talking about that. Okay. That's something totally different. We know how to treat that. Um, but I'm talking about random rashes. You have no idea why, um, they're just appearing and, and I'm not talking either about shingles or herpes rashes because those can be treated and can go away. But I don't want to get into that either because sometimes those viruses continue to live in your body and anytime you're stressed, it, you know, they tend to come out. But there are ways of also removing that. That's a different topic for another day about herpes rashes. So today I'm just talking about the red rashes that you get that are, that possibly cover your body or they're on your chest, your abdomen, your arms, your legs, their hives, they're itchy. Sometimes they're painful. So it is not because you need a stronger steroid medication. Please find someone that can help you. You can, um, even just Google like functional medicine, you know, in the town that you're in, or, you know, even if you have to drive a little bit to see somebody and, you know, a lot of times functional medicine providers can see you through telemedicine virtually. So you don't have to go anywhere and they can drop ship kits to you. Cause that's what I do. I drop ship a kit to people's home. They do the test. They send it out in a FedEx bag that's already prepaid. And then, um, the results come back in in about a week and so much can be revealed with this. So whoever's listening to this, if this has helped you, thank goodness, because trust me, the rash will go away once you figure out what the root cause of it is. And that's what functional medicine is all about. So I hope that you find relief. You find someone that can help you. If you can always reach out to me as well, and we can talk about what's going on because it's, it's also, it's not just about the rash. There's other things possibly going on. So, um, and I'm not, and things that could be resolved, you know, things that could, you know, easily like, Oh, you have, um, you have a parasite and you've got some food allergies. Okay. So let's remove these foods. Let's get rid of that parasite. It's not, it's not hard to do deep investigative work here. It really isn't. I I mean, I love doing it by the way. It is like my jam. Um, anyway, I hope you have a beautiful weekend. Give that some thought. If you have questions, you know, reach out. If you want to send me a picture and you want to know what I think, please, by all means, send me an email and, um, it's at info at margaretromero.com. I'd love to see it. I see so much rash on a regular basis and, um, try not to have to take intense doses of prednisone. It's really not good for you. All right. That's it for this week. I hope you're all well. And thank you so much for listening wherever you are in the world. Big hugs. Bye for now.